Give your car the bath of a lifetime at Glass House Car and Dog Wash. Our personal attendants will focus on your vehicle's needs, and our new touchless technology guarantees the best wash possible. And as always, our tire scrubbers and rim spray will increase the life of your tires and leave them gleaming. Water spots don't fly here, we will hand dry your vehicle every time. Get in, get out, get clean at the Glass House Car and Dog Wash, located at 914 North Stratford Road in Moses Lake. In Northwest news, in Seattle, federal authorities have arrested a Romanian couple who are accused of defrauding an Eastern European government out of millions. But when they found them, they said they also found a hidden bunker with enough supplies to live on for years. Cairo's Amy Clancy has the details. These are photos taken by federal agents of a bunker in Yelm. It has a kitchen, beds, extra clothes, and is stocked with enough food, agents say, to feed a family for years. The bunker belongs to Radu and Diana Neems. According to federal documents, the Neems are charged with defrauding the Romanian government of the equivalent of 69 million U.S. dollars. Because of the tax evasion charges in June of 2012, the Neems entered the U.S. on visitors' visas, which have since expired. They've been building a huge log house near their bunker in Yelm since April of 2013, in part to be near Ramtha. You are here to learn the great, great work. And Jay-Z Knight's School of Enlightenment, which Radu and Diana Neems have reportedly joined. The husband and wife are currently being held at the Federal Detention Center in SeaTac. Radu Neems is not fighting his imprisonment, but his wife is. Diana Neems is pregnant, and in documents filed in U.S. District Court, she argues her pregnancy would be jeopardized by a lengthy incarceration. But attorneys with the U.S. government maintain she is a flight risk, with access to millions of dollars in accounts hidden overseas, and a bunker that would, quote, still be available to her should she be released, with an entrance controlled by steel doors, which could be sealed from the inside. Efforts are underway in Benton County to preserve habitat for a butterfly placed on the endangered species list last year. The county is home to the only two surviving populations in Oregon of the Taylor's checker spot butterfly. The number of individuals can vary widely. Last year, the two populations totaled an estimated 600 individuals. The butterfly has 11 enclaves in Washington and one in British Columbia. The Corvallis Gazette Times newspaper reports the local work is mainly to preserve habitat for the butterfly and other prairie species. Work has included cutting down encroaching conifers, cutting flight corridors to link isolated patches of prairie habitat, and getting rid of invasive species and reintroducing native plants. It's not your imagination. The iconic American breakfast of bacon, eggs, and coffee is costing more. The Associated Press explains why. Jakima Robinson wants her three children to eat a big breakfast because they have a big exam later in the day. And they're getting bacon, but she has not brought how much of it lately. Oh, uh, they went up a couple of dollars. Like that pack here used to be maybe about five or six dollars. Now it's ten dollars almost. Bacon is up more than 50% in the last year to about $1.30 a pound. The market reaction to fears a deadly hog virus will cut into supplies. It's putting a dent into Robinson's budget and also into profits at diners. Where in the past we always thought the breakfast concepts made more money and that was a great uh, area of the menu or day part, uh, it's becoming more equal with lunch and dinner. At Norma's Cafe in Dallas, managers are trying to offset the pain of high prices with creative menu options. Uh, we're looking at record, record prices in anything from beef to bacon to orange juice, eggs. Everything is uh, higher than it's ever been. The cost of your morning cup of joe to wash everything down is on the rise, too, at least in supermarkets. Yet coffee shops aren't buzzing about what a drought affecting Brazilian coffee crops is doing to world prices. So it's not the first time we've seen price fluctuations. And uh, we've been fortunate that we really haven't had to raise our prices very much. And say squeeze when you're pouring the orange juice, traders are betting OJ prices will go up 12%. Florida's orange crop is ravaged by poor weather and disease. This all adds up to higher food prices across the board, hitting food banks on two fronts. So our demand from our agencies goes up at the same time 
as our dollars are buying fewer and fewer food items. For this mother, stretching dollars is taking the sizzle out of buying bacon. John Moan Associated Press, Dallas. And that's going to do it for us here at iFiber One News. We want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you again tomorrow.